Hi everyone, how you doing? Hi Mayra, hi Oscar. Hi. Hi teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Right, good to hear that. Welcome back to your English class. So Thank let's you. check. You're welcome, a pleasure. So yeah, we can officially start the class. Broccoli is good for you. Beginner two, class number nine. So let's check. Let me write down the date for you, just in case you're still um wondering how to write down the date. Let me share it with you. Date. Okay, so let me see. Today is um which day is today? Today is Tuesday. Me oh second. 2023 okay so in chance in case you want to copy the date there you have it if not we can start so tell me how did you spend labor's day how was it como 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 gastaron o como pasaron su su labor's day su día del trabajo let me listen to you did you eat? Did you sleep? Did you dance? What do you do? Let's listen. A ver, tratemos. I was working all day. Really, Oscar? Where do you work? Yeah, in a clinic. Mm, yeah, so, yeah, you were working. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry, I got you. Totally got you. What about Guadalupe? Did you rest on Labor Day? Descansó? Good evening, teacher. Um, yes, in the afternoon, I I rest. Great, excellent. But in the morning, I have to work. Oh, really? Yeah. Since 6 a.m. to 12, desde las 6 a 12. No, eight to one. Oh, okay. That was good. Yeah, perfect. At least you rest. I don't know, they can sign. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. thank <laughs> you. Very good. What about you, Cindy? How did you spend your labor's day? I rested. I went out with my family. Yes, that. Right. Excellent. Very good. As I didn't went, I didn't go out, Cindy, let me know, was everything crowded? Como yo no salí, dígame, estaba todo lleno, was it crowded? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, great job. Let's move on. Do you remember, even though you were on vacation, aunque fue una mini vacation, pero fue una vacation, all right? Eh, tenemos que siempre estar haciendo un review del vocabulary que ustedes ven. Okay. Entonces, mention at least three activities that you recall last week. We were working on this topic the whole week. Toda la semana, después del lunes que vieron este tema, les estuve haciendo esta misma pregunta, right? Three activities that you recall. Um, ok. So... Do you have a volunteer? Tengo un voluntario. 
or should I pick and choose? O debería de escoger yo. Okay, I'll pick and choose then. Thank you. Let me listen to Wendy Arevalo. Tell me three activities that you recall. Wendy, your microphone. Yes. Um, activity one, uh, describe job, describe jobs, the professionals. Uh, all right, Wendy, sorry if I got you confused. Discúlpeme si la confundí con la pregunta, pero uh, three activities that you recall, tres actividades que recuerde que vimos en la clase por ejemplo, where's a uniform, actividades que hacen las personas que trabajan. Lo vimos en un cuadrito. No son ah, actividades yeah. de la clase, sino que actividades de lo que trabajan algunas personas. Mm -hmm. um, for example, a police officer has a dangerous job. All right, vaya, pero la quiero las activities, Wendy. Solo las activities, no sentences, sin oraciones ni nada. Solo las activities, el vocabulario. Mm. Uh, activities teachers that's the profession esa sería la profesión ok Wendy le voy a dar tiempo para que lo busque en su cuaderno right? a esta altura ya tendríamos que manejarlo de arriba para abajo esas activities todos, no solo Wendy, todos right? thank you Wendy let's go with the next one uh, what about Eh, Mayra, can you tell me three activities, Mayra? Okay, Mayra dice que tiene un bad internet connection. Tiene mala conectividad. Okay, so let me ask. Eh, Oscar, tell me three activities that you recalled. Uh, three activities. Handles money. Handles money. Perfect. Uh, talks to people. Mm -hmm. Talks to people, yes. And where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Simple as that, right? Más simple que eso no puede existir. Thank you, Oscar. Right. Insisto. Nunca va a ser muy tarde para mí para recordarles. Tengan su cuaderno. Si a ustedes saben que un cuaderno solo con lapicero negro no les va a llamar atención, utilicen highlighters, utilicen resaltadores, all right? Create comparative charts, creen cuadros comparativos, creen cuadros donde estén las actividades y los um, y los places, all right? Porque son dos cosas que vimos. Don creen un cuadrito para cada structure, nombrenla, all right? It, it doesn't matter. No significa que sean niños con eso o que sean infantiles. It means that you're looking for ways. Significa que están buscando maneras de poder atraer su aprendizaje. All right? Because you spend a lot of time working. Porque pasan bastante tiempo trabajando. All right? And you get used to, to the same routine. Y nos acostumbramos a la misma rutina. So, keep that in mind. All right? So, let's check. Let's go with number two. Mention the structure of B plus adjective. Cindy, Carolina. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Uh, example. Or add no. structure. Just this structure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, article A and N or N. Profession. Uh, apostrophe S. Job. And verb to, and verb to be. Must Very add to Okay, repeat after me. Apostrophe. Apostrophe. Very good, excellent. Thank you. Sí, porque es bien fácil confundir apóstrofe con apóstrofe. All right. Es como el, el, el signo igual. En inglés se dice equals. Entonces, en una de esas se nos puede olvidar y decir equals. All right. Entonces, that would be weird. Eso sería muy extraño. Let's go with number three. Um, let me listen to... Let me check. We have Paula. Okay, Paula, uh, tell me. 
Let me check. Uh, create one sentence using that structure. Dígame una oración que usted tenga con la estructura de B plus adjective. Okay. Mm, what's her job? She's a doctor? No. Uh, B plus adjective. She is a doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you a sure? receptionist work in an office. A receptionist is all day. All right. Yes. A receptionist is. E no. A receptionist sits all day. Pero a dónde está el be? Porque tiene que llevar el verb to be. Verb to be. La estructura, recuerde la estructura del B plus adjective. Su compañera Cindy la acaba de mencionar. No, no he hecho una oración. ¿Mm? No he hecho una oración. Ok. No okay. work for you. Eh, hicimos esa actividad, eh, my dear students. Porque si no la hemos hecho... Eh, no se preocupen, la hacemos ahorita, pero sí hicieron, yo recuerdo que hicieron las, las oraciones de ambas estructuras. Yes. Ok, thank you, Víctor. ¿Solo Víctor las hizo o si todos están, estamos en la misma sintonía, en the same page? Yes, Michael, there you are, very good. Okay. Cindy says, yes, ya trabajamos esas structures. Shouldn't be difficult for you. Ya a estas alturas no puede ser tan difícil para ustedes porque esas structures, les puse la estructura, les brindé ejemplos, las trabajamos, las explicamos. So you should be able to work with that simple. All right, Miguel, can you tell me one sentence using the structure of B plus adjective? Utilizando la estructura del B plus adjective. Miguel, si este que no se le escucha, sí sé que tiene el micrófono abierto, pero no se le escucha. No, no yet. A bit, sí, la escuchamos, pero un poquito. Maybe you have interference. Yeah, I think you have an interference in there. Creo que tiene interferencia, Miguel, como de un ventilador, creo que se escucha, or something like that, it's likely. Ok, do you hear no, me? Now I hear you, ahora sí lo escucho, perfect. Ok, ok, thank you. Uh, do you remember you are the teacher? Ah? Huh? Do you remember you are the teacher? All right, that's a question or you're telling me? <laughs> I, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the... The example. Uh, the example, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're, do you remember? Uh, you do you remember? I am the student. Ah, uh, pero y el adjective? Ah, adjective. Um, hmm? Do you remember you are a good teacher? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there was that. Do you remember you are a good teacher? All right. Yes, very good. Now. My apple, <laughs> my apple for the teacher. <laughs> okay, perfect, <laughs> perfect. Now, let's listen to this. If you might have noticed, Michael created a question, all right? Notaron, Miguel creó una pregunta. That's possible, sí es posible, right? Pero primero, para llegar a eso, tenemos que saber cómo crear sentences, porque no es lo mismo una oración que una pregunta. Y si no sabemos manejar las sentences, no podemos tirarnos de un solo a las preguntas. En el caso de Miguel, si ya sabe manejar las sentences, por eso se fue a las questions, all right? But we don't have a structure for that. Pero no, para eso no tenemos estructura. That's on your mind. Y ahí es cuando usted empieza a jugar con el contenido y sabe cómo aplicarlo cuando quiere hacer preguntas. Let's go with number four. Mention the structure of adjective plus noun. Let's listen to Guadalupe. Can you hear me, please? Can you help me in here? Okay. Uh, the structure is article, a uh, or n, plus profession, plus has, plus article, a uh, or n, plus adjective plus noun. That's correct. Thank you so much, Guadalupe. Now, everyone, let's pay attention to this. Last class, we were working on these exercises, right? 
¿Recuerdan? La clase pasada estuvimos trabajando con estos exercises, pero eh, creo que llegamos hasta la 10, ¿verdad? O hasta la 8. 10, teacher. 10, all right, perfect. So, let's work 11, 12, 13, and 14. Trabajemos las últimas cuatro, please. 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, have you finished those four sentences? Is that a no? Or is that yes? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Now let's listen to Andrea. Where do we have Andrea? Yes, sure. Tell me, uh, 11, please. My sister. My sister goes to bed at 10 o'clock p.m. on week, weekday. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Very good. A las 10 p.m. 10 p.m. on weekdays. Días de semana, right? Thank you. Eh, Jose Pedro. 
twelve. Susan. We don't have Jose in the classroom. Jose. Okay. Let's go with Alison and Stephanie. 12. Susan. Susan studies English from 7, 19 to 9, 45. Repeat. 7 past seven 15. Past 15. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Now, let's go with uh, Paula. 13. Carlos. Your microphone, Isabel. Okay, maybe she's not in the classroom. Let's check another one. Uh, what about Cindy? 13, Carlos? Carlos doesn't eat breakfast on Sundays because he gets up late. Perfect, thank you. And the last one, 14, Ana Melendez. My brother not brush his thing at 11 p.m. He not brush his thing at 10 p.m. Okay, we have interference. Let me listen to Miguel, please. My brother, my brother doesn't not doesn't brush uh, his teeth at 11 p.m. He... El mismo verbo. Okay. He brush his brushes. teeth. Brushes. Brushes, yeah. He brushes his teeth at uh, 11, 12. 12, 12, 12 p.m. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Listen up, everyone. Let me just tell you this. In number 13, in number... <laughs> Yo pronunciando la U en number, ok, in number 13, en la 13, no tenemos coma, pero son dos ideas eh, ligadas, podríamos decir, pero como resultado, right? Porque tenemos el because, el because is a compound sentence, right? When you use because is a compound sentence. Eso es un tema más avanzado, no lo voy a explicar porque no me compete explicárselos ahorita porque los puedo enredar. Ese es un tema de avanzado, right? Pero lleva el conector because, entonces nos da a entender de que hay un resultado. De la primera oración hay un resultado. All right? Notaron cómo Cindy hizo el cambio. En la primera oración, ella dijo el negativo auxiliar. And that's correct. Y eso estaba correcto. Pero luego, como no tenía otro negative, no tenía otro auxiliary, su cerebro pensó y dijo, gets up. All right? Misma oración dividida por el because. Es una idea distinta, podríamos decir, right? Es un resultado. Ahora bien, en la 14, eh, lo mismo sucedió con Miguel. Él vio el not y aseguró su auxiliary verb. Doesn't rush. Pero luego tiene una coma. No tiene resultado en esta oración él, sino que tiene dos ideas distintas, right? My brother doesn't brush his teeth at 11 p.m. He brushes his teeth at 12 p.m. All right? O sea, son ideas distintas del mismo tópico, pero de distinta manera, right? De expresarlo. Y se dividen por la coma. Entonces, como ya es una segunda idea, yo automáticamente pienso en utilizar el mismo verbo que se me pone en la primera. ¿Ok? Porque en el caso de la 13, teníamos dos verbos distintos. It y gets up. Era más fácil, pero aquí ya no les pusieron el segundo verbo. ¿Por qué? Multiple intelligences, right? Tendríamos que utilizar el mismo verb que tenemos en la primera sentence. Simple as that. So let's check, my dear students. Uh, let's go with the food pyramid. Uh, we're going to watch the video from the platform. 
Let me ask you, how many of you are already working on section four? Levanten la manita virtual quienes ya iniciaron con la sección cuatro, please. Perfect. Victor, Alison, Cindy, Miguel. Who else? No one else? Nadie más? Okay. Just as a friendly reminder, los que ya iniciaron, perfect. Los que no han iniciado ahora, les recomiendo que inicien, ¿ok? En Guadalupe, I was wondering, ya decía yo, porque no he levantado su mano. If I know she's going ahead, she's going beyond, all right? Eh, en el grupo, enviaron quiénes son los estudiantes que no están trabajando en la plataforma. Y como notaron en el message, es preocupante, right? Porque es un servicio que ustedes están obteniendo, pero no están dando resultados, right? So, if you have any questions, let me know. Si hay preguntas de cómo trabajar en la plataforma, háganme saber. Falta de tiempo, I don't think so, all right? No creo, porque aunque sea un minuto de la vida, tienen libre, all right? So you can work on that. But eh, you need to push yourself. Aquí es de presionarnos un poquito, sobre todo si sabemos que los estudios quizás no cuestan. It's to push yourself. All right, hay que presionarnos un poquito. Pero si se quedan sin eso, les están demostrando en Safar que a ustedes no les interesa la beca, all right? O que simplemente no pueden mantenerla. Y para otras personas está bien porque pueden aplicar a esa beca, pero ustedes quedan afectados ante la vista en Safar y de la y de inglés corporativo también, porque no le dieron seguimiento. Entonces hay que tener muy cuidado, hay que tener hay que ser muy cuidadosos con eso y y quizá como les digo, presionarnos un poquito, ahí de repente yo no sé cómo hacer este ejercicio, lo pongo en el chat box de WhatsApp. Tal vez algún amigo me pueda ayudar, algún compañero que sabe cómo se trabaja, all right? Usted puede preguntar, pero no se vayan quedando atrás. Eh, a partir de este día voy a implementar que cierta cantidad de tiempo antes de final, finalizar la clase les voy a hacer una pregunta sobre por dónde van en la plataforma. Por si hay un ejercicio que no lo han terminado, se trabaja aquí rapidito y no se me quedan estancados, right? Uh, the purpose of this class is for you to learn, but at the same time advance. El propósito de la clase es que aprendan, pero al mismo tiempo que avance, right? So let's check. We are going to see the video. Vamos a chequear el, el video. Let me just... Section four. Broccoli is good for you. Word power foods. Let's listen to the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar, cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef. Dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce. Tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, 
rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice eat. Okay, let's go to the vocabulary. Let's check this up. Food pyramid. Food for good health, para buena salud. Eat a lot of drinks, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. <clears throat> Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps in the pyramid, right? Six blocks. We have fat, oil, and sugar. And that is composed from cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, chicken, nuts, no, no se pronuncia nuts, se pronuncia nuts, beef, eggs, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese. Yo sé que en español decimos yogur, pero en realidad es yogurt. Yogurt, right? Fruit. We have bananas, oranges, apples, strawberries, and mangoes. El que me diga mangos, deja de ser mi, 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 mi estudiante, right? Mangoes. Be, be, how do we say the, this? Be elegant. Seamos elegantes. Mangoes, all right? So let's check vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, and lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes. Then we have drinks, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Let's check. I already practiced my vocabulary, now it's your turn. Ahora es turno de ustedes. Vamos a iniciar con Oscar. Please tell me the vocabulary. Uh, bueno, solo me va a decir tres franjas, Oscar, right? Fat, oil, and sugar, meat, and other protein, and dairy. Um, three. Uh, meat and other protein. Sorry? You're going to tell mm. me fat, oil, and sugar? O sea, me va, me va a dar lo que está en esos tres niveles. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, cream, candy, butter, potato chips, uh, oil. Hello. That's correct. Are you there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tienes que dar las tres secciones, Oscar. Fat, oil, and sugar, meat, and other protein, and dairy. Mm, sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, milk, cheese, yogurt. Chicken, beans, nut, beef, egg, and fish. Dairy. That's it. Berry. ¿Qué tenemos en dairy? Oscar, what happened? You are a good student. Uh, What's wrong today? <laughs> I'm using my phone. Compañero, no yeah. tomado café. You need to drink coffee. <laughs> no, I use it in my cell phones. Uh, my, the screen is small. Dairy. Me falta aquí. Oh, dairy. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Milk, yogurt, cheese. Excellent. Thank you, Oscar. That was tough. <laughs> Super duro. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. Don't worry. 
Don't worry, yo llorando ahorita. <laughs> Now let's check. Um, let's go with Miguel. Can you please do me the honors? Fruit, vegetables, and grains. Okay. We had the vegetables. Uh, the example for the vegetables, we have broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, and potatoes. The another one uh, section, uh, how uh, do you use the fruits? Ah, the, the, the fruits, okay. Uh, for the fruits, we have banana, bananas, mm -hmm. apples, oranges, strawberries, and mangoes. Uh, delicious mangoes. Mm -hmm. um, and the another teacher? Another one? Grains. Grains. And for the grains, we have bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, and the past, pasta. Very good. Thank you. Now, okay. for the ones that don't know, uh, noodles are the ones, los noodles no son como nosotros los conocemos aquí, los macarrones. No, they are not. They are long, 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 long. Right? Ellos, eh, los noodles son super largos. And I think that are made from special, uh, special flour. Creo que son hechos de, de una harina especial. Okay. Usualmente aquí no comemos noodles, pero vienen siendo la forma como los de la sopita maruchan. Viene siendo algo así la forma. Right. Teacher, disculpe, serían como tallarines. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. That's that's the concentrated. All right. Ahí está okay. la palabra concentrada, tallarines. Solo que creo que al decirlo así, no, no. No todos los conocen, all right? Um, but that's the correct one, pero esa es la correcta. Let's go with Cindy. Fat, oil, and sugar, meat, and other protein, and dairy. Luego Guadalupe, fruit, vegetables, and grains. Okay, fat, oil, and sugar, cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein, eggs, beef, nuts, chicken, beans, fish, and dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go with Guadalupe. Okay. Fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes. Vegetable, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, and grains. Uh, we have bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's go with Ana Melendez. Fat, oil, and sugar. Solamente la franja de fat, oil, and sugar, Ana. Action. Okay, cream, candy, potato chips, oil, but I'm um, sorry, um, what did you say? Butter. 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 Yes, very good. La butter es distinta a lo que nosotros utilizamos aquí en El Salvador, que sería la margarina, right? That's not butter. Esa no es butter, no es mantequilla de verdad. Eso a saber qué es, <laughs> but it's not butter, okay? It is not. So let's check. Let's go with um, Victor. Meat and other protein and dairy. Esas dos franjas le tocan a usted. Meat and other protein, fish, beans, chicken, nuts, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese. Perfect. Thank you. And Wendy Arevalo. Fruit. And vegetables. Bananas, orange, strawberries, apples, mangoes, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, and potatoes. Repeat lettuce. Lettuce. Yes, very good. Thank you. Let's go with uh, Christian Giovanni. Drains. <clears throat> seafood, eh, Miguel. Mariscos is seafood. 
Okay, teacher. Thank you. Comida del océano. All right. Let me check. Um, Christian Giovanni. Grains. Vamos a, voy a chequear la cajita de información porque tengo algunas interferencias. Hmm. Students, you need to keep up, right? Allison, grains. Bread, cereal, crackers, rice, pasta, noodles. Perfect, thank you. Now, let's move on to the following. Guiding examples. Paulita, can you help? Paulita, can you help me with that one, please? One, two, and three. Read them. Paula, are you there? Or is just your cell phone that is there? Hello, hello? Okay, she's not in the classroom anymore. Let's go with Andrea Flores. Guiding examples. Number one, two, and three, please. I like bottle and oil. I don't like candies and cream. My mother likes fish, nuts, and beans, but she doesn't like cheese. And yogurt. Thank you. Everyone. Miren, eh, no tengo ningún problema con que usted se quiera levantar para ir a hacer algo o tenga que ir al baño, cualquier cosa. Pero si está dentro de sus posibilidades avisarme que se va a levantar, solo diga, Miss, may I stand up a minute, please? Me puedo parar un minuto, right? Yo entiendo que tiene que hacer lo que tengan que hacer, pero no me dejen así nomás. Uno, porque yo me siento bien, bien extraña diciendo, hello, are you there? All right. Porque no todos tienen la cámara encendida. Literalmente solo Miguel, Guadalupe, Mayra y Cindy tienen la cámara encendida. All right? Los demás, I know that they are there because they are participating. Sé que están ahí porque están participando. Pero los que no me están participando, a mí no me consta que, que están ahí. All right? Entonces, si usted me avisa que se va a parar, no problem. No hay ningún problema. Right? Puede hacerlo, libertad. Pero sí avíseme porque si no, yo estoy también wasting the time. And that's not fair. So let's go. Let's move on to the next one. Practice time. Uh, instructions. May I have Cindy, please? Instruction number one and number two. And <clears throat> Victor, three and four. Action, Cindy. How do you say pyramid? Pyramid. Pyramid. First, work individually. And second, Create sentences using the food pyramid. Right? Pues también puede decir pyramid. En el video de hecho dicen pyramid. Y es más sencillo. Thanks. Solo que Cindy, repeat after me, individually. Individually. Yes, very good, thank you. Action, Victor, four, three and four. Use each of the categories from the pyramid some sentences show the on third person singular. Perfect, thank you. <clears throat> si tenemos, eh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Tenemos seis secciones de la pyramid. Solo créenme three sentences, all right? Tres oraciones basada en una por cada sección. Usted puede escoger qué sección va a utilizar. De esas tres sentences, Al menos una tiene que ir en third person singular, como la que yo tengo en el ejemplo, right? Number three, es tercera persona singular. Quiero ver si nos acordamos cómo se utiliza la third person singular. Let's start working, please. Me dicen si quieren que les deje la slide en el vocabulario o en los ejemplos. Estos son los ejemplos y es del vocabulario. Okay, the examples. Okay.
Teacher, can you put the vocabulary? Sure. Wait. There you go. Thank you. Okay, who has finished? <clears throat> Perfect. Let me listen to you, Guadalupe. Let me listen to your examples. Okay. Number one, I like fish and yogurt. Number two, I don't like cream and candy. Number three, my sister likes beef, chicken, and cheese, but she doesn't like fish, rice, rice and pasta. Very good, excellent. Thank you. That's correct. Well done. Let's listen to Victor. I like beef, eggs, and beans. My father likes yogurt, cheese, but he doesn't like milk. My mother likes chicken, eggs, but she doesn't like fish. Very good. So, look, okay, and father. No le agregue la S, por ahí escuché fathers, pero no, solo es father y mother. Very good, Victor. Todo lo demás, perfect. Thank you. Let's go and let's go with Wendy Arevalo. Let me listen to you. 
My sister doesn't like pastas. I love potato and carrot. My brother likes cereal with milk. Perfect. Thank you. Very good, Wendy. Let's listen to Mayra. Mayra, today you haven't participated. Hoy no ha participado, Mayra. I like apple green. Uh -huh. Green apple. I don't apple apple green. I don't like fish and candy. Right. Very good. Otra. My son like a fruit, banana and orange. He does not like lettuce and broccoli. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Solo que en green apple, Mayra tiene que ir primero el adjetivo. Green apple. apple. Perfect, thank you. Solo eso, excelente, la felicito. Let's go with Miguel. Okay, teacher. I like noodles with seafood. Um, my father likes uh, fried fish, chicken, and salads, but doesn't like the potato chips. All right. Excellent. Very good. You like seafood. Le gusta la comida oceánica. Yes. <laughs> yeah, with pasta and noodles. <laughs> okay, very good. Good, good. So basically, you like Japanese food or uh, Chinese food. Porque ellos la preparan con noodles. Yeah. Perfect. With the, with the noodles, uh, you can use the sauce, so, soy uh -huh. sauce? Yes, soy sauce. Soy sauce, yes. soy sauce. okay. Let's go with Cindy, and after Cindy, Andrea, and after Andrea, Oscar. I love mangoes, broccoli, and beans. Mm -hmm. I don't like apples, cereal, and pasta. <laughs> My husband likes beans, eggs, and beef, but he doesn't like broccoli, mangoes, and lettuce. Very good, excellent, very good explained. Let's go with a uh, yeah, yeah, Andrea. Action. Yes, sir. I like strawberry yogurt in the breakfast in the breakfast. Mm -hmm. I don't like eat fish in the lunch, but I prefer beef or chicken. I does not like broccoli. Right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, Andrea. That was pretty interesting. Let's go with Oscar. Okay, I like yogurt with strawberry and apple for breakfast. I don't like fish and lettuce. My mom loves fish, but she doesn't like beef. Okay, excellent. Yeah, that's true. I don't know why mothers, they don't like beef. <laughs> excellent. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they don't. Let's check. Um, Alison, let me listen to you, please. I like cereal and strawberry. I don't like tomatoes and pasta. My sister likes bread, butter chips, and orange, but she doesn't like fish and pasta. Bravo. Everyone, congratulations. Very good job. Those sentences were nailed it. Estuvieron on fire. All right. Let's check. Uh, let's move on to the following. Conversation, how about some sandwiches, All right? We have Adam and Amanda. Vamos a ver el video from the platform so that you might have a bit of idea. Let's listen to this. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is that... Okay. Let's stop it in there and let's go out to the conversation. 
We have Adam and Amanda. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Let's have Miguel, you are Adam. Wendy Arevalo, you are Amanda. Action. They need to, to go to the supermarket. <laughs> Sorry? Well, uh, I, I am uh, Adam. Yes, you are Adam. Okay. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, refrigerator but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Bravo, excellent, very good, great job. Que bueno, se escuchaba la, la, la conversation, right? Like if you were leaving it. Now, everyone, eh, I'm about to dismiss you. Ya estoy a punto de despacharlos, but I just want to ask you, do you have any questions about the platform so far? ¿Tienen alguna duda o consulta sobre la plataforma hasta ahorita so far? Because I need you to work on it, porque necesito que ahorita que los deje ir, trabajen aunque sea unos 10 minutitos on that, all right? So if you have any questions or doubts, let me know. Is that a no? Okay, my dear students, thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure to see you, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Thank Good you. Night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Have a great night. Thank you. Sweet dreams. Good night.